Preventative maintenance, take one. So first start the E2, tune it to maximize signal and then shut it down so you know it was all running perfectly before you do anything. Turn off the HV. Turn the key off. Turn the key off. Turn off the chiller. There's also a breaker on the back. You do Turn that breaker the there, the which will do it quickly if you have a leak or something. Remove all the other panels. Disconnect the water lines. These have inner valves, so they won't okay. leak much. And those aren't going to leak much. These won't leak. We'll leave the argon before we release those two gas lines. We're going to kill the main kill valves, the main valves, valves the now. This thing has not had the pressure builders on. Leave the mains. We could toggle the lock and unlock lock and to bleed, lock. but we've already done that for this. All right. And so first thing is to remove that plate. First. These Believe nuts that's are five and a half millimeter. Five and a half millimeter. Kind of a weird okay. size. Five and a half millimeter? Yeah. Remove the screws. So that looks like the nickel is actually flaking off. Is this this nickel? You can oh, see on this machine, the nickel copper, plating so that's on top of solid copper is actually off coming off but a little bit. this is pretty normal. You don't normally see But this looks pretty normal. Flake. Uh -huh. Sometimes you do, but most of the time you don't. So, so then they got Remember the exhaust, exhaust hose pipe clamp. Pipe clamp on it. And then this is the exhaust sensor. Remove so exhaust sensor forward. line. The blue line is labeled is on, on the back. back. Uh -huh. Tied up on the back. What's the blue mean? Oh, they just mark it so we know that that's on, that's on the back. Okay, gotcha. Otherwise, if they're not marked, you, then when you go to hook them back up, you might not remember which way they go. Disconnect so the forward vacuum line. line. This one, there's the one just like on the back side. Okay. If you accidentally knock off one of the labels so while you're working on it, refer to the figure to get right it connected on the correct one. Look on it. Okay. Let's see where it goes. Plug it back in. It's not a big deal. Vacuum Remove the back vacuum line, line clamp. Disconnect the sensor connectors. Put a towel beneath these when you start to release the water pressure. These lines should not be that tight. Pretty much just snug by hand. So do not tighten them with a wrench. So then I just are trying to open the line and get an air bubble in there. Make Move sure it. not to Try pull to these off too fast or you can squirt water all over the machine. If you put, pull it off too fast, you can squirt water all over the place. are all marked and clear yeah well remember the outline the, the, this arrow the is on the same line as the, the sensor because you want to be sensing okay. the hot water yeah, coming off water. the machine not the cold water going it doesn't in. really matter which way the water flows in there what matters is the outline is on the sensor temperature sensor using What's a five millimeter five allen millimeter. wrench five millimeter loosen the interface leave the top screw the last one to remove so this does not drop. So I, I say if I do the bottom ones first on this, because mm -hmm. once all the screws are out, this will drop down. Yeah, so the last one is kind of the hanger. Yeah, so, so I do the, one of the top ones last, just so that I can hold the bottom. 
it makes sense. Order is very important. So do the order in which one of the top two first, are left in place. So that one of these top two will actually to hold, hold on the, the unit, unit up right. Okay, so getting the getting this interface out. Be really ready tricky. to remove the interface. The only tricky thing about doing this. By okay. holding up the weight. You have to rotate it. And get ready to rotate it. So you have to rotate it. So rotating it clockwise. Kind of clockwise. Be very careful. Kind of clockwise, I mean. Mm -hmm. And so until and then get so these have to clear out to the top here. Gotcha. And then you have to do the, do it the opposite going back in. So, so the risky part about doing this PM is, is when you're putting it back on. You got to be very careful. The extraction, the extraction lens sticking yeah. out. It's, when you're putting it back it on, wrong, you could you break, break that graphite housing. You can yeah, you remove can the remove sensors, and, uh, but work on this it's a bit of a pain. Like so it's easiest just to work pain. on top yeah, of the cabinet.